Hello everybody and welcome to my 28th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how you can speed up some of your loops so I'm just going to create a loop to go through these and just change the values of these numbers and what some of you may have experienced is sometimes when you're when you're working with a lot of data and a lot of formulas uh, you, your your loops can take quite a while to go through and I'm going to explain why that is and I'm also going to show you how to make them a lot more efficient and run a lot quicker. So I've just created a spreadsheet, it goes down to nearly 5,000 records and then it's just got a fairly random, uh, relatively complex uh, formula next to it. So. And so whenever you change one of these, all the, these are going to calculate. And then if we go into our code, let's just start writing ourselves a loop. So let's give ourselves a counter as integer, counter equals one, and then do until this workbook dot sheets, sheet one, dot cells counter comma one dot value equals nothing so I'm going to loop through all of the cells in column one until one of the values is blank so that's going to go through all four, four and a half thousand of them and just make sure you increment your counter so that it goes on to the next row and then all I'm going to do in each section is I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to make it one more in the value. So very simple, just a little loop that goes through and increments all the values in that column. Uh, it's just an example, obviously a real world example is that this isn't, but it, it it's going to give you an example of exactly what I mean. So if I run this now, run, and then we realize that we have not put our equal sign in, and then so let's stop this run and then you notice that it's taking quite a long time to go through them all and change them and I haven't actually put add one on these I've actually said it to, to change it to one so but the the concept still gonna say the same it's taking quite a while and then you notice it's, it's all done now so that's run um, but we don't want it to take that long. That took at least kind of 10 seconds. If you manage that's only with 5,000 rows of data and one, one formula. If you have a whole spreadsheet full of formulas and you have data that goes down to thousands and thousands and thousands, then obviously it makes your, your code really, really inefficient. So why is this? Why does it take so long? So there's there's two main reasons that I'm going to I'm going to show you that mean that these go really slow. The first one is every time Excel in VBA changes the value of a cell, calculates the entire worksheet. So for each one of these it's going to calculate it and even though if if you calculate the worksheet it's normally quite quick, so if you do that 5,000 times that's a, that's a huge amount of wasted memory that the computer is using to, to calculate it over and over again when really we're changing all these values we only need to calculate it once the other thing we're doing is whenever you update a cell in Excel it updates this picture on your screen so if we put something in here then that although it happens really fast it, it's updating the entire screen with what what's looking what it's looking at and again it will do this for every t every change you make so it was going to do that 5,000 times so what we need to do in order to speed our loops up is we need to remove those two features from from our code so let's go back into here I'm going to show you how to do that now so we to do this we use the application object and we go application and then there's two fit pro properties that we want to change. So we want to go into screen updating. Equals. And then we want to put it to false. So this is going to stop the screen from updating itself. And then our code will run. 
and then every time it goes through this loop it's not going to update the screen every time so it's going to go a lot faster but then at the end what you want to just make sure you do is put it back to true again equals true and then that is already going to speed it up way faster than it was before let's just go back into this before now and run this so alt f8 and run and it's still going to take a little while because it's still doing all the calculations but it will go a little bit faster than the last one and now that one's run let's just go back into here and then turning the calculation off pretty similar so application dot calculation equals and it comes up with the options so we want to change it to manual so it's only going to change it's only going to calculate the worksheet when we tell it to and then at the end we just want to again turn it back to the default so and I'm pressing alt v because I've got used to my Mac now and so copy paste and then we just want to change this to Excel calculation automatic which is generally the default one that everyone uses if you don't want to switch back to automatic and you use your spreadsheets and manual all the time then just do application dot calculate and that will calculate the worksheet for you and then leave it in manual but we don't want to do that we want to set it back to Excel equals Excel calculation automatic and then built into that when you switch back to automatic it's going to calculate the worksheet for you so if we go back into our code now and we run this and then you'll notice it does it pretty much instantly you barely even noticed I'm just going to run it again I'm going to put a message box at the end so you can actually see yeah that's right I'm done uh, and I'm just going to change this so that it's 1 plus the value so it actually changes the values for us so Alt F8 and then run and then boom yeah that's right I'm done that is how quick and I know some of you will be thinking wow my loops were taking ages and now I know that it's blown my mind and it blew mine too the first time I realized about those things so just remember to always put them in uh, they it's not just loops it's all of your code it's, it's going to run a lot faster if you if you put those those comments in just make sure that you always put them off at the start but then you always put them back on again at the end else your code's going to mess up so that's it for this tutorial if you've got any questions drop them below uh, if you want to catch all of my videos then please click on the uh, subscribe button up here somewhere and thanks for listening I hope to catch you in the next tutorial